ahead of the 2016 Giro d'Italia, the South East Pro Cycling Team have had a rebrand with Willia Triestina, their bike sponsor, becoming the team's title sponsor too. And this is Filippo Pozzato, their lead riders, Willia Cento 10 Air. Cento 10 Air is almost certainly not how you say the name of this bike, but my Italian only stretches to one or two beers. The thing that stands out about this bike is the colour. It's just stunning, simple, bright red, stands out from a fleet of mainly black bikes in the Pro Peloton. I think maybe we should have a few seconds just to admire it. And we're back. The next thing is that Pro bikes are often about the little details that mechanics add or you know, weight savings or kind of chain catches, that sort of stuff. This bike is actually remarkably low on details. It's incredibly pared down. Pizzato is a very experienced rider who's had some huge wins in his career. And he's clearly a cyclist who knows exactly what he wants and that's reflected in the build of the bike. Starting at the top, we've got a Sele Italia SLR Team Edition saddle. That's got titanium rails and that sits on a Ritchie aero seat post. So the seat post is, you know, fits perfectly with the frame. So presumably that's something that Willia and Ritchie have worked on together. Moving forwards from the saddle and seat post, we've got the stunning red one piece bar and stem. That's Willia branded. It's called Alabada. Again, excuse the accent. And the stem is a massive 14 centimeters long and the bars are 42 centimeters wide. So standard bar width, really long stem. It looks like a really beefy aerodynamic setup. Presumably it's pretty stiff. Yeah. Looks cool, fits with the red paint job of the bike. The bar tape matching the saddle is Sele Italia, and he's not wrapped it all the way to the middle, which is common with bars with an aerodynamic top section. I think it looks pretty cool. Black bar tape as well, so it's gonna save the mechanics a job if it's a really dirty day. Don't wanna be replacing white bar tape day in, day out during a three week race. Looking at the general build of the bike, I mentioned that Pozzato appears to be a rider who knows exactly what he wants from a bike. So there are no extra shifters. He doesn't have sprint shifters. He doesn't have shifters on the tops. He just has his Dura Ace DI2 brake and gear levers. The rest of the group set stays with Dura Ace. So he's got a Dura Ace DI2 rear mech, Dura Ace DI2 front mech. He's got a Dura Ace chain set. He's got 53 39 chain rings and the cranks are 175 millimeters long. Dura Ace cassette, 1128. Dura Ace chain, Dura Ace pedals. And Jura Ace dual mount brakes as well. It's quite cool to see that Willia, even though they've gone with a really aerodynamic frame, have kept the rear brake on the seat stays rather than below the chain stays. I think brakes that are below the chain stays are just more prone to getting more grime and mud, and it's, it, they're more difficult to work on than brake stairs. So I'm sure the mechanics are relieved about that too. Shifting and braking, nearly everything is taken care of by Shimano except for the brake cables, which are manufactured by a brand called Alligator. There are plenty of reasons that you could speculate as to why either a rider or a team goes with different cables to their group set, but it's something that gets replaced regularly, so it may just be what they happen to have in the truck at the time. Pozzato and the rest of the Willia team also deviate from Shimano when it comes to the wheels. That's quite unusual. If you look at all of the World Tour teams that Shimano sponsor, they tend, for the most part, to be on a full package. So they'll have group sets, wheels, so on and so forth. But they've got Ursus wheels, not a brand that you see hugely often outside of Italy. So Ursus T45s, the hubs are made by Ursus too. They've got aero spokes. They've got external spoke nipples as well. So that means if the wheels are, have a bit of a prang, if they're a bit out of true, the mechanics can likely handle that and fix that if possible back at the truck, which is important over the course of a three week race. On the wheels, we've got Vittoria Corsa 25 millimeter tires. They're the new courses. So they've got the lined tread pattern, which is quite unfamiliar. We're used to seeing most tires having some sort of file pattern, but nope. None of that here, and they look really cool. I've not ridden them myself, so I can't comment on the grip, but skin wall too, which I think is I think looks really, really good. That's the way forward. With the build covered, let's take a look at some of the vital statistics on Pozzato's bike. One thing that we can't measure right now is the huge seat to bar drop, but I think that should be pretty evident from the footage here. Pozzato's reach comes in at 65 centimeters. Saddle height is 80 centimeters, and the weight of the bike is actually quite surprisingly light. It's an aero frame, it's a big frame, and there are no huge concessions to weight saving on this bike. So it came in at 7.345 kilograms, which is about 500 grams over the weight limit, but with a deep set of wheels and an aero frame, I don't think you're gonna worry about being that much over the UCI weight limit. I think that's actually pretty light for this setup. That's about it, I hope you like the bike. If you do, don't forget to give it a thumb up and hit share too. To see our Pro Bike playlist, just click right there. To see our Giro d'Italia 2016 playlist, click there. To subscribe, click on the GCN Globe and there's a link to the shop just down there.